Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a reading for the sign of Taurus. This could be for people who are in relationships, separated or single. These messages will not resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave the rest. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So let's jump right into it and see what messages Spirit has. Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? Messages for Taurus. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So yes, you put in the hard work, the hard effort. I feel like for some of you, this is you putting in the work on yourself. You truly working to heal, remove obstacles, people emotions out of your life that do not benefit you so that you can move forward and move towards happiness and it's like abundance happiness joy a connection that you've always wanted is now ready to come into your life because you've done the work you've removed all the obstacles the boundaries like i said you've healed from past hurt past pain You've gotten rid of people that do not benefit your life, that were not for your highest good. And now you're ready for a divine connection for someone that comes into your life who can truly show you what true love is about. Partnership. Some more messages. It says play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So yes, hard work and no play. I feel like for others of you, Spirit is saying that you are in a connection and it's time for you to put more effort into it. Maybe to stop working so much or... Really take a step back, relax, and enjoy your partner. Enjoy spending time together. Enjoy really getting to know each other. Let's get some more messages. Because it's like I really get a heavy sense that you're just focused on work. And even when I look at this abundance card, it's like yeah, you're focused on work, you're focused on your money, and your career. So you really don't have time for a relationship right now. Some of you don't. Some of you are choosing just to focus on work and not really considering being in a relationship. The Spirit is saying, no, it's time for you to really take a step back, you know, go on some dates, put yourself out there. It's time for you to get back out in the dating scene and not to be so work focused. Some more messages. Yeah, but for others of you, this is the time for you to really start putting some more energy effort into your connection. Start doing things with your partner, going out on dates, and really spending time together. So I have put away the computer. Working less will strength, will help strengthen your relationship. So yes, what did I say? Some of you, you're working, too busy working, working, focus on your money, your coin, and you're not really putting as much, as much effort into this relationship, this partnership as you should. And Spirit is saying, no, it's time for you to balance things out in your life so that you can truly give to this connection. Because I feel like it's going to be something that is abundant in its own right it is going to be something that truly brings you happiness and possibly lead to your ten of cups but you have to put in the work just as you put in the work when it comes to your career you have to put in the same energy when it comes to being with this person so let's clarify spirit clarify abundance But for some of you, like I said in the beginning, 
you do have a relationship coming in. You are entering a new season in your life. And like I said, you've done the healing work. And now spirit is getting ready to bless you with a new connection. The Four of Cups. So yes, this is for the group where I said that you've done the healing work and now Spirit is getting ready to bless you. It's like for some of you, you keep looking back. You keep looking back at the past, at the failed relationships, at the empty cups. But like I said, Spirit is getting ready to offer you a divine connection, a divine counterpart. All you have to do is turn around and look at the gift that is being given to you. Look at the joy, the abundance that Spirit is offering you. Stop focusing on the past, on the failed relationships, on all of the relationships that you poured into and you received nothing back. Turn around because in this new relationship is going to be equal give and take. This is going to be a divine connection, and you're truly going to be happy. It's like, stop having doubt. Do not doubt. You are going to meet the right person. You are going to meet someone in which you will be equally yoked with. Do not doubt that someone will come into your life, someone who knows how to treat you. Don't doubt that. Just because you have been through past relationships that didn't work out. People that did not value you. That didn't see your worth. The next person that comes into your life, they are going to see your worth. It is going to be a very divine connection. A gift from spirit. A connection that you've never had before for some of you. It's like you've been waiting for this person all your life. And here it is. Here's the gift that Spirit is giving you. Clarify, play hard. Remain hopeful. Remain hopeful. Because you are about to meet someone who is truly going to make you happy. But you just have to change your perspective. Okay. So I have the magician. Yes, manifestation. For others of you, you manifested this person into your life. You called this person in. And Spirit has given you this person. Spirit has given you this divine connection. And Spirit is saying that I have given you this person. So into this relationship. Pour into this person. Just don't be so focused on your work. Learn how to balance things. You pray for a divine connection, a divine counterpart, someone you could grow with, build with, marry, have children with. This is the person that you called in. It's time for you to invest, to invest into this connection. Get to know this person, spend time together. I heard vacation. Go on vacation with this person. Really pour into this, give to this. Because this is going to benefit you. You are going to see. You are going to get the return. This time you're going to get the return. Equal give and take. Clarify, put away the computer. like for some of you you're waiting you're waiting on someone to come into your life but the person is already there 
the person that you seek is already in your life, but it's like you're looking elsewhere and spirit is telling you, no, look in front of you. Turn around. Look, this is the person. But it's like you're looking out waiting and it's right there, it's right in front of you. The person that you seek is already in your life. You just have to turn around and look. Like I said, you need a change of perspective. Spirit says a friend. So this could be a friend that you already have. Someone that you possibly grew up with, childhood friend. But this person is already there. And they already have feelings for you. They've just been afraid to express them. But they do care about you. And they do want to build a connection. And I have the Four of Wands. So yes, once you put away the computer, once you stop overworking and you give into this relationship, you are going to be happy. You are going to be celebrating. This relationship is going to lead to marriage. But first, you have to invest. You have to fully invest yourself. Do not hold back. You have to fully open your heart to this person. Spirit says, put this person first. Put this person first in your life. And you're going to see. You're going to reap the rewards. Let's get some more messages. Here are some more messages from the sign of Taurus. When I'm in a state of appreciation, I'm in vibrational alignment with my true love nature. So yes, be appreciative. I feel like for some of you, you need to appreciate this person. You may be taking this person for granted. You may be so focused on your work that you truly don't value this connection because all you see is work. But all work and no play is no fun. You have to have equal balance in your life. I feel like once you learn to appreciate this person, you're truly going to see this relationship evolve. You're truly going to see it develop into something that you could have never dreamed of. But you have to put in the work. You have to learn to appreciate this connection, appreciate this person. Because you're going to be celebrating. And like I said, this does have the possibility of leading to marriage. Your Ten of Cups. So let's give an additional message. For others of you, the person that you seek is already in your life. They're already there. Like I said, all you have to do is turn around and look in, the, in a new direction. You need to look at things from a different perspective. Look in a new direction. Because this person may not be like the people you've dated in your past. They're going to be different. And maybe that was the issue. You kept dating the same type of person. And that's why the connections didn't work out. So now it's time for you to try something different. It's like if you want different results, you have to do things differently. So I have the strength card. So yes, you are very strong. Do not doubt yourself. You are very strong and confident. I feel like for some of you, this is when it comes to your career. 
Yes, you are very strong, confident, you are very sure of yourself. But when it comes to relationships, that is where you lack strength. That is where you lack confidence. And Spirit is saying, in this season, you need to be confident. You need to be confident when it comes to your choices, your decisions. Know that you are making the right choice with this person. Do not doubt. Know that this time, this is the right choice. This is the right decision. Do not focus on your past mistakes. Do not focus on your failed relationships. Spirit says, give this person a chance. Be confident when it comes to this relationship. Be open with this person. It's time for you to give this person a chance. Just as you are confident when it comes to your career, your finances, your independence, it's time for you to be confident when it comes to this person, this union. Because it's going to pay off. You just have to be sure of yourself. All of the signs are there. You can invest. It's safe to love. So I hope that these messages resonated. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.